Hi everyone, uh, here we're going to go through the steps necessary to determine the angle of a right angle triangle with the two shorter sides uh, dimensions given. So um, animated here uh, flashing at you is the hypotenuse line, just for those who may not be aware where it is. So to get the angle of this hypotenuse, we must have two given measurements. We must have the opposite to the angle uh, we're dealing with and the also the other line, which is the adjacent to the angle, to the angle we're dealing with. So um, here we're going to uh, show you the formula, which is the opposite divided by the adjacent. So you complete that first in the brackets and whatever your answer is, you inverse tan that and you hit equals. So um, we're going to work through an example here now just to give you an idea how that works. So you take the opposite distance as being one here and the adjacent distance as being uh, two. And when you, when you start off that formula, the opposite divided by the adjacent, you should get a 0 0.5. So with that answer staying on the screen, then you, you're you going to continue on with the formula and you're going to hit the shift button on the top left corner there on the calculator and um, hit the tan button highlighted there on the calculator and then hit equals and your angle, angle, angle should be 26.56 degrees. So um, uh, that's... Uh, that's basically how it works out. So here you can see that the line opposite the angle is half the size of the line uh, adjacent angle, uh, angle. In that case, the angle will always be 26.56 degrees if that's the relationship between the two sides. Um, and that's regardless of the size of the right angle triangle, whether it's the size of a house or a small would fit in a page. If the opposite is only half the size of the adjacent, then the angle will always be 26.56 degrees. Okay, hope that's of use.